In the veiled depths of history, where truth and myth dance in an eternal embrace, there lies the enigma of Labarna the Waves. His story is etched in the stone of forgotten temples and whispered in the wind sweeping across the Anatolian plains. A tale of power, ambition, and the ephemeral nature of empire. It beckons from the shadowed corridors of time, inviting those who dare to unravel its mysteries. Chapter 1. Early Ages and Rise The birth of a vision in a land fragmented by strife, under the watchful gaze of ancient gods, the young Prince Labarna grew amidst the turmoil of a world in flux. The Hittite city-states, each a realm unto itself, knew not of the unity that lay in the heart of the ambitious prince. Through his veins coursed the dream of a kingdom united, a domain that would rise from the scattered ashes of petty fiefdoms. As Labarna ascended to the throne, the air was thick with the promise of change. With the wisdom of a sage and the heart of a warrior, he began his quest. His name became a clarion call, rallying warriors and sages alike. He conquered not just with sword and spear, but with words and decrees, forging a nation from the fires of his ambition. Chapter 2. Glory. The Empire's Heartbeat. At the zenith of his power, King Labarna, I was a figure of awe and reverence. From Hattusa, his mighty capital, his rule stretched across the land like the wings of a great eagle. His chariots were as thunderbolts, his soldiers as relentless as the tide. Under his gaze, the Hittite kingdom flourished. Art, culture, and commerce thrived, weaving together the diverse tapestry of peoples and traditions within his realm. His decrees, inscribed in stone, spoke of justice and order, of a kingdom that was as much a creation of the mind and spirit as it was of strength and steel. Yet amidst this glory, Labarna remained an enigma, his true essence as elusive as the mountain mists. Was he the founder of an era or the culmination of forgotten kings? The mystery of his identity, whether he was Hattusili I or another, added to the legend that surrounded him. Chapter 3 Fall The echoes of eternity, as all empires do, the world Labarna built faced the inexorable march of time. The lands he conquered and the people he unified would one day fragment, the victim of time's relentless passage and the ambitions of those who came after. Labarna's own end is shrouded in the mists of history. Did he fall in battle, old and weary, or did he pass peacefully, leaving his empire at the height of its power? The cuneiform tablets are silent, leaving us to wonder. Yet, even as his physical empire crumbled, the legacy of Labarna I endured. His name, his title, his vision continued to inspire generations. In the rise and fall of this ancient king, we see the timeless cycle of human endeavor, the quest for glory, the achievement of power, and the eventual surrender to the sands of time. In the heart of Anatolia, where the echoes of the past still resonate, the story of Labarna I remains a testament to the greatness and the fragility of human empires. His shadow stretches long across history, a reminder of what once was and what might have been.